What does a tog look like? Let's take it from the back. All right, they got a big broom tail. They have little black beady eyes. They seem like they'd be scaly, but they're slimy. They're coated in a slimy goo. Tog teeth, they're ugly, uh, hideous even. They're sticking out in all different directions. They are the hillbilly of fish. Uh, for me, as soon as the funny fish start to peter out a little bit, and then it gets that first frost uh, comes at night, you just know it, it's time to start looking for tog. The fall is, um, is the time I've had the, the most success, for me anyways. And it's right around that time when, you know, there's still some albies around, but they're not as prevalent. And, you know, you, you wake up in the morning and it's noticeably colder. That's when it's time to, to go togging. Usually right around October, Columbus Day weekend is really when I start to go full on tog mode. I'll keep at it until, uh, you know, the end of November, really. As soon as you hook one, and get them off the bottom, they just dig for the bottom as hard as they can. Trying to hook a tog is challenging, to say the least. When I first started togging, they were the most maddening fish to target. You'd feel like you got a bite, you'd want to set the hook like you do everything else that you fish for and expect there to be something pulling back on the other end of the line. Nothing. Empty, and it's like, ugh. Reel up, realize there's no crab left, do it all over again. So it took me some time to figure out that you get a little nibble and you're like, all right, we got a customer. Then you gotta wait and then you'll get another nibble and then you'll think that the next one's gonna be that one and that's what causes you to swing and miss. My mantra is every knock at the door gets answered. However, there's a lot of ghost knockers out there, which gets really frustrating. You really need to let that that tog, inhale the bait, and you'll feel a noticeable thump that is a little bit different than the taps that, you know, when they're just picking away, when they inhale it. And that's, every time you feel that and you set back, it's just rod doubled over, and that thing is digging for the, uh, for the rocky structure that you just tried to pry it out of. It's awesome, it's addicting. And when you really get on a good tog bite and you get it dialed in, you'll let them pick the legs off the crab and you'll have it so dialed in that you're like, oh, he ate it, boom, and you stick him. It's the best feeling in the world. And then you lose that and it goes right back to being totally maddening. And it's like, oh, got this dialed in, yep, tap, tap, here we go. And he ate it, oh, nothing. It's a challenge and when you're fishing, the most challenging fishing situations often end up being the most gratifying. One of the very best things about Toggin is it extends your season right up through November. I personally don't take the boat out till December 1st. Yeah, it leads to some cold days on the water, but they're productive days. The Togga there, boat should be in the water. 